Hey you guys, LegitlyXLegit here, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 missions in Call of Duty history. Uh, this took a lot of effort to put together, but I hope you guys are uh, pleased with the uh, order that they're in. But let's get right into it. We have number 10 here with all gillied up in Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare. And uh, th there's no lie in this title. We are really all gillied up in ghillie suits, and I don't know how this guy didn't see me. <laughs> but this whole level, you're following Captain Macmillan through the uh, the enemy base here as you can see enemies are pretty much walking right on top of us and it's a really really fun stealth mission um, you have silenced sniper rifles so you're sniping everybody it's tons of fun and you have to hide in the grass like this um, throughout the entire game and as you can see you also kill people here and it was one of the first levels where you actually had to kind of follow orders so here he says don't shoot these guys so I don't shoot them so it kind of just brought like a whole different aspect to the game, which is a lot of fun, and I think a lot of other people um, really enjoyed that too, where you had to actually listen to what he was saying. So here he I had to wait for him to get in position, and then he waited on my mark to shoot these guys, and uh, it was really fun, that kind of new as a aspect to that game. And here we're running straight through these guys. Um, somehow they don't see us, and we end up going under this uh, truck here and crawling through it and I'm pretty much staring up his butt the whole time but that's right it's still fun nonetheless and uh, I mean this level was just really well made um, and it's one of the best in uh, the original Modern Warfare which was one of the first first person shooters that I've ever played so these kind of levels really left an indent on me uh, but number nine we have Cliffhanger from Modern Warfare 2 now this one was just really beautiful like I mean look at all the scenery around you it was a awesome stealth mission you can tell that I like stealth missions but like it was so much fun you had to follow this guy again you had to follow orders and you get compromised here and he has his hands up and he's about to get shot um, so he tells you to take out the little C4 that you planted on the fuel tank across the runway and tells you to blow it up and uh, take a pause for suspense and blow it up and it's just tons of fun, all the stuff that you have to do in this one. And, I mean, there's t uh, tons of different levels that are uh, things that you have to do in this one. Like, uh, right here you have to run a snowmobile down this insanely deep hill. And uh, somehow escape all of those guys that were behind you. Dodge all these trees. And make it across this huge, huge gap, which is very, like, this is never gonna, ever going to happen in real life. But, nonetheless, tons of fun. I thought shooting was very necessary right here. Um, but that was number uh, eight, so we're gonna go down to number seven here, which was Vorkuta. Oh wait, no, this was number eight. My bad, guys. Number eight was Vorkuta from Black Ops. Now this one uh, probably could have been a little lower down on the on the uh, top ten list, but I, it kind of just landed here. Out of all the other ones, this one kind of just landed here. But this one was tons of fun. It really put together the. Um, the the storyline for the rest of Black Ops and I mean why I mean what other missions in Call of Duty can you shoot fireballs off of a catapult into towers and blow them up I mean this one was just tons of fun and um, like I said it really put together the rest of the mission and you had to and like right here you're just rampaging through everybody blowing up cars with a death machine and I mean how could you not just have so much fun doing this one and um, you have to, uh, Reznov is like kind of famous for saying the the steps to getting out of Vorkuta, which was this big prison that we're in right now. And it was like one, uh, secure the keys, two, it was like a sense from darkness, so it was really fun. And to finally get out of Vorkuta, you had to uh, get onto this bike, which I absolutely suck at driving. I am, oh my, this is embarrassing, like how bad I am at driving that. Um, but number seven, we have Turbulence at Modern Warfare 3. Um, this is one of the only Modern Warfare 3 levels because, I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy the Modern Warfare 3 levels as much as the other ones. But this one was crazy, crazy level. And this pretty much right here was the whole, the, the, the whole meat and beans of this whole level. You, you're in zero gravity on a plane that's plummeting towards Earth and you have to shoot the, the bad guys. I mean, this one was just awesome. And you guys aren't human if you don't agree with me that this, this, episode was just one of a kind episode this level was one of a kind and it was just so awesome shooting these guys in zero gravity um, but eventually it ends sadly um, but it was still a very fun level and this one I mean the, the right here this special effects that happen right here I mean all the light and the shadows and the like 
things flying all over the place. The special effects were just amazing on this scene right here when this plane falls apart. And that guy falls out of the plane. And uh, this uh, plane's just like crashing into earth. And you almost get killed here by this flying thing. I don't know how it got that high in the air in the first place. But right here, you open this door. And son of a biscuit, it's Makarov. And he shoots you in the face. Well, no. I guess he shoots you in the chest because you don't die right away. And he shoots your little friend here. And the Russians capture... Well, not the Russians. Makarov's men capture the president, which you were trying to uh, defend. So that kind of sucked. But that was a great level. So number six here, we have one shot, one kill from Modern Warfare. This was the level where you shot... Uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like Zakev. The kind of a, the main bad guy in Modern Warfare. And you are sniping in a building. You see this awesome shot. Hit him right in the heart. But no matter what you do, you're always going to blow his arm off. Um, as you can see, his arm's laying on the ground right there. So we can make a return later in the game. Um, he's not dead, obviously. But this was a really, really fun level. It was right after all gillied up. So you're sniping. And uh, it was tons of fun. So number five here, we have Vendetta of World at War. This level is one of my personal favorites. Um... I have to put the I like I I don't know why this one isn't lower on the list, but not a lot of other people find this one as fun as I do. But I just love this one. Um, you're sniping the whole time with Reznov here, and this is the first time you meet Reznov, and he is a big character in the entire Call of Duty series. Actually, he makes a return in Black Ops. So you're doing all this crazy stuff. You had to just snipe that guy, and then these guys are throwing flamethrowers through the windows, and and then check this out. Check this out, guys. Oh. I, I don't even know how I got that shot and how I killed that guy, but he slow motion falls out of that car, and that was just absolutely epic. Um, but I love that level, love it. Um, number four, we have No Russian, and this one was a huge shock to everybody who played Modern Warfare 2. Um, I mean, I wasn't expecting it. Like, the first time I played this, I stepped out of this elevator, and I'm like, what are we supposed to do? And then I was like, oh my god. And we just lay bullets. In. Oh, why am I laughing? God, I am going to hell, guys. But that's just, I mean, that level was just crazy, crazy shocking. And then you actually get to fight people with real guns here. And uh, at the end of the level, after you've raided this whole airport, uh, you get shot by Makarov yet again. Um, it seems like we're always getting shot by Makarov. But uh, that kind of, this right here kind of set up the rest of the campaign for Modern Warfare 2. Because now it looks like the Americans killed everybody in that airport because they found this American body here. Um, but that was a ton, a ton of fun level. Um, so right here we have number three, Game Over. That is the level name. I didn't just make it up. It really is named Game Over from Modern Warfare. So as you could probably guess, it's the last level in Modern Warfare. You're kind of in the back of this truck here, shooting people on other trucks, driving everywhere. You have to shoot down a helicopter with an RPG later on. And uh, at the very end of the level, you're almost dead, laying dead on this... Well, you're almost dead, laying down on this bridge. And... There's Zakaev or whatever his name is. I don't even I don't even want to try to pronounce it right, but that's the main bad guy with his arm shot off from that previous level. And you really just hate this guy at this point, and you just want to lay some bullets into him. And here's the famous, famous little scene here where Captain Price slides you the pistol across the ground. You pick it up and you just shoot Zakaev down, and his little buddy's here. And it was so so satisfying to finally kill this guy after blowing his arm off. And just to make sure he's dead, I sent a couple bullets up his butthole, just for good measure. Uh, but number two, we have Dust to Dust at Modern Warfare 3. And um, this was the last level in Modern Warfare 3. You're with Yuri here in your juggernaut suits. You'll make it all the way up to Makarov. And you finally get to deal some pain to this guy that you, at this point, obviously hate. Because he's been in two Call of Duties and you just hate him at this point. You really, really want to kill him. You get to pound his head into the glass a couple times and break through the glass finally. And this is just an epic way to kill somebody. You hang him from the balcony or the skylight, whatever it is. And you can watch his dead, dingling body slowly die. And it was just so satisfying to get that kill as well. So number one, last but not least, we have Endgame from Modern Warfare 2. And I love the creative uh, last level names that Infinity Ward gives these, uh, Endgame. But anyways, this one just had me, like, drooling with my mouth open, with adrenaline running through my body the entire time that I was playing this level. I mean, I knew it was the last level, and, like, you just have to do these crazy things. You have to get on this boat, you have to shoot this helicopter, well, your Captain Price has to shoot this helicopter, 
and you fall off this waterfall and I, I mean my mouth was open the entire time and um, just I, I'm pretty, pretty sure that most of you guys have played this level and seen what happens and it's just so so awesome what happens in this level and you try to knife this guy but he uh, hits your head against the thing and stabs you and that's General Shepard who betrayed you and killed Ghost earlier in the campaign and you really hated this guy also you hate a lot of people but your knife is still stuck in your body and your guy decides to put his hand around it and he needs to pull this knife out of his body and while you gamers are behind the TV eating chips pressing X as fast as you can with the little button this guy's trying to pull this knife out of his body I mean think about how, how much this would hurt how much this would just get you like oh my gosh I mean this is insane he grabs it with two hands pulls it out of his body does a little ninja slide on his hand with this knife and I'll just leave you to it god that's so sexy oh man I love that anyways guys thank you so much for watching this has been legitly X legit please leave a like comment subscribe do whatever you need to do but I had a lot of fun making this video, and I will see you guys next time.